morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you own, welcome to the mental house. I don't know what kind of filter this is on this um, today. I have no idea. But it's very important that I um, bring this poem to y'all from um, Claude McKay. Okay? And it was written in 1919 at a time when um, during the resurgence of there was a what they call the bloodiest period in America history between 1917 and 1920 like in that area era um, where black people just like now were being hung and beaten and um, slaughtered by uh, uh, deputized white folk by um, children, kids running around shooting uh, black people. And this is very important for me to bring this to y'all because I my whole purpose is to let black people know that it can happen to us again. And it is happening to us. And it's going to keep escalating more and more and more until we go into the ovens, just like the Jews. But fortunately for them, they got a mantra. And they say, never again, never again will you be allowed to commit that kind of atrocity against us. We're going to keep telling it. We're going to keep shouting our story. We're not going to be ashamed of it. And we're going to be an unapologetically Jew. All right? Now, I ain't mad at them. Not one bit. Because their story of, of abuse and mistreatment is a story for all humanity. Not just to see, but to learn from. So here we are. On the um, envy, precipices of being a people who have never, ever, 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 ever been free since we've been in this country. We've never, ever, ever been, I mean, remotely. Remotely treated like we were first class citizens since we got here. We still are letting these people define us. These berserkers, these people who have all through history shown you how evil and mad that they have been, but they have defined us and we've allowed them to. And I think one of the worst stories that I've, I'm, I'm dealing with right now is being here in Wisconsin. We got the judge, Bruce Schroeder. And I think everybody should remember this judge's name. Flood the court systems. We got to get rid of these corrupt judges. These are some of the judges that Donald Trump put in. People, So when people say Donald Trump is not just a... Um, you know, he didn't cause this. He's a symptom. Yes, but he did a lot of damage in those four years because he put people up in these places that think just like him. He put judges and people in high positions to help keep us in bondage. So you got this week, Judge Bruce Schroeder denied two motions by prosecutor. One was to increase Kyle's bail. This is Kyle Rittenhouse, the guy that shot the two white men in Kenosha. In, um, yeah, Kenosha. Killed them. Killed one, for sure. Prosecutors argue Rittenhouse had failed to register his new address with the court. Where they do that at? That you can move and shit all around 
and not tell the judge or you know, anybody where you at. Listen, they kept making me go to court for a whole year and a half about an election fraud. And it would have been my ass had I missed just one, one hearing that they could deem to postpone whenever they get good and damn ready. We got a problem here in America, y'all. We better wake up. We have got to wake up. So I'm going to revisit a few things since it is Black History Month and we need the lesson. There's some of us who thought that Black History Month was, was not necessary. But if I ever thought that way, I stand to be corrected. It's needed now more than ever. And I apologize if I ever thought that, if I ever said that, just to cover the ground. This man is allowing, this judge is allowing Rittenhouse to remain out on bail. He's violated all the conditions of his freaking Release. And they don't give a damn. Because he's quiet. And this is the kind of stuff that I want to put something in our ear because we can't go on like this. We cannot go on letting these people treat us like this. Period. It's just that simple. So if we must die, if we must die, let it not, not be like hogs hunted and pinned in an inglorious spot while round us bark the mad and hungry dogs, making their mock out of our accursed lot. If we must die, oh, let us nobly die, so that our precious blood may not be shed in vain. Then even if the monsters we defy shall be constrained to honor us through the dead. O oh, kinswin, we must meet the common foe. Though far outnumbered, let us show brave. And for their thousand blows, deal one death blow. Just one. What though before us lies an open grave? Like men will face the murderous cowardly pack. We'll be pressed to the wall. Dying. But fighting back. Y'all get that? Do you understand? Because we can't go home like this. And I, this poem should be in every household. Claude McKay was a Jamaican-born writer. Responded to this writer, this writing, this son, and urging his comrades to fight back. It had a powerful impact then, and I hope it has one today. Because if we must die. Let it not be like hogs hunted and peeing in, in inglorious spots while round, all around us bark the mad and hungry dogs making their mock at our cursed lot. Judge Schroeder need to be checked. He need to be flooded. The judge need to be removed. This is too crazy. The white supremacists are showing you bold. Boldly who they are. And I need for the good white people, the John Browns out there and all of them to take their place in this, the Viola Usos. Continue to keep your place in history. Continue to fight injustice. 
Because we can't take no more. We can't take it. And I'll see y'all in the next video.